Hello, Matthias. I hope I said your name right. I have to get things wrong. Welcome. Well, greetings from Japan. You know, you say you're, you said you're interested in Japan. There's lots of interesting stuff here. There goes a freight train right there. Maybe that's uh, a little different from the freight trains that you're familiar with in your own country. You're from a very interesting country in Europe, one that I haven't been to, but I certainly would like to. So anyways, we watched the uh, freight train pass by. They're not very long in this country. Like in the United States, they can go on forever where I'm from, but uh, freight trains here tend to, tend, to, tend to pass by pretty quick. So anyway, thanks for riding. I'm sorry to be a little late in, uh, in getting back to you. You know, I always seem to be behind on these things. Your uh, message, I had to think about it for quite a bit. Uh, thank you for your nice words, by the way. I'm, uh, I'm inspired by you. Um, you know, I was, I, I, I wasn't, when I was your age, you're 15 years old, you're, you're young. When I was your age, I didn't, I didn't, I, I faced some troubles, but it sounds like you faced down some, some, some pretty serious troubles. And to have come out of that with a, a pretty clear head on your shoulder, I think, especially for 15, uh, I'm deeply impressed with an eye on the future and a, a dream and aspirations and, and a direction that you want to go in. I must give you a lot of credit for uh, maturity ahead of your years and an ability to, to, to muster strength when seems, it must seem like it, like you said, even at times you were tempted to give up. And, and I've got to compliment you as well on your English. My gosh, amazing. So I think you've got all the raw materials for any, any type of future, any type of life that you want to live. And right now it might seem like that's Japan, and it may genuinely be the case. And you've got, and it's wonderful that you've got something to aim at at your young age. I don't, 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 forgive me if I keep saying your young age. It just seems young, you know, at 49, almost 49 now. And uh, um, I, I'm, 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 I'm envious of your youth and your foresight. I wish that I had had that type of, uh, that type of <clears throat> vision. Is there almost, there's almost a word that comes to mind. As it, I, when I was 15, I was, I was like a pinball, bouncing around from one interest to, to another. The only thing that was constant in that was my craving for adventure. Not for excitement, not for the thrills of, uh, of, of danger necessarily, but for um, pushing into the unknown to, to, to get myself um, immersed, at least not literally, in, in the ocean, for example, out in the middle of nowhere. There goes a passenger train swimming out to the deep end of the ocean, as I used to like to think of it, you know, or, uh, or figuratively, or, or the theoretically, or, you know, with thought, you know, immersing myself in the works of Henry David Thoreau. When I was about 15, when I went and encountered Thoreau, and uh, I couldn't comprehend his writing. It was literally like another language to me. Yet I, I sat there with the dictionary, and he was a 19th century writer, yeah, you know, beautiful, uh, beautiful, lit lit you know, literature, I, I believe. And you've got all that. You've got all that happening at a young age. So, you asked my advice about what to do from here as an ad, as as an aspiring adventurer. And when I use that term adventure, you know, typically we think of an adventurer as a guy with a an ice axe and you know in boots and in a backpack like this and going to climb a mountain. But to me, an adventurer is anyone that's exploring through life. And you don't even have to leave your room. You don't even have to go outdoors to be an adventurer. And if I would have to say, if you're asking my advice about what steps to take at this point, if you want to enjoy adventure in your life, and you and you find and you say you like my videos and you find some inspiration there, some similarities, then what I would like to recommend to you, um, and you've actually mentioned the path of wildness as well, um, and what I would like to mention to you is suggest to you is a course of inquiry that's similar, the same, basically the same type of course of inquiry that I, that I was exposed to at your, your young, at your age. I keep saying your young age, for, sorry. And I would recommend, first of all, beginning with, if you're interested, reading the book Walden by Henry David Thoreau. It, um, it's a bit of a, it's a tough one. It's like reading the old, when you first encounter, it's like reading the Old Testament Bible in the old, an old version, you know, it's it's almost written in another language. But once you get once you get the gist of what he's saying, and once you start getting the flow of it, it begins. It, it, it it's like chocolate melting in your mouth, but it's melting in your mind. In term and Thoreau's ideas were mainly related to um, independence, 
uh, uncovering truth through uh, thinking and, in, and, and, and in becoming in touch with nature. Um, he, although the, he was of a group of people that were called the Transcendentalists, some people have mistaken them for religion. They're not. They were, uh, they were a spiritual group for the most part, but Thoreau, even, even his writings, didn't lean towards that necessarily. It really was more like kind of like what I do, in, or I should say I do it like what the, he does, because he was the one I learned it from. He and Emerson and the others um, learned about, you know, basically walking through life you know, feeling, experiencing the world around us, and discerning truth from that. It's a really a, it's almost an, almost a scientific application of, of experiencing life. If you start there, what I would then recommend as well is, is you're, you, you're, you've got some schooling ahead of you. You know, you can finish your high school. I don't know exactly how it works in your country, um, but I imagine it's the same, where you finish high school and then have the opportunity to go to university. Even though you want to come to Japan, I really hope that you'll consider, uh, and it sounds like your parents are supporting you in that regard, going to university, completing your education there, for so many reasons. Japan will still be here, and it's a tough time now in Japan, and hopefully things will be better in another, if you're 15 now, and then you're taking to you 24, another decade. I guess I know that seems like a forever. That goes the bullet train going that way, and then the other one going the other way too. Bullet train and, can you see the bullet train going the other way? No, it's not the bullet train there, it was above it. <laughs> I know it seems like a decade, it seems like it's, I mean, it's, it's, more, it's, it's, it's two thirds of your life that you've already lived, but, but trust me, it'll go back like that. And the investment that you make in getting educated will pay off in so many ways throughout your life. It'll help you to, to really what I hope you invest in is find what you're majoring in, what you want to major in. Your parents say you want, they want you to major in, in computer science, and I'm telling you, that's not a bad idea. This is, this is a father talking. I mean, having a talent that you can rely on to get a job and pay the bills, I mean, it may seem like it's, I mean, <laughs> it's a good thing. I wish I'd done that more. I didn't do that. I studied speech communication and biology, gave me the skills I need to talk to the animals, which is basically what I wound up doing. You know, I became a vlogger, so to speak. And uh, even though I don't do it pro pro as a profession, I do it as, a, as, as my avocation. Um, you know, get yourself a, get yourself a talent, um, but study what you want to study. Um, you know, your parents' advice is good, but in, in the long run, choose what you want to choose. Um, I hope, though, that you uh, will give science a, a, a try. If not, on the road of becoming a professional scientist, at least in order to train your mind to think, to understand the scientific method, the scientific method of reasoning, the observation, coming up with a hypothesis, learning how to test that hypothesis, refine it, learn where its flaws are, be critical of your, of your own work, understand how to uh, communicate your ideas to others whom you respect, and to listen, to listen to what they say, not just with, a, with an, an ear to defend yourself, but with an ear to understand what they're saying in terms of helping you to, to refine what that is, and then either developing that theory into something, that, that, that hypothesis, into something more akin to a theory and learning the difference between a hypothesis and theory, that's important too, and then continuing to test and work from there. That way you can, you will have the the mental tools to apprehend, to, to apprehend, investigate, and discern truth from what you see. Then when you're armed with, and then if you have the, 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 the philosophical underpinnings of a, for example, of a Thoreau, that, that has the curiosity and the, the willingness to become, to adventure literally and bodily upon the world, you will be well armed to become an adventurer. Here comes another train. We'll listen to it whistle as it comes. So, learn the ways of the philosopher. Learn the ways of the scientist. Educate yourself. Put yourself for, for, for several years in mix, mix a, a group of your peers. It's a hooting and a hollering. What is going on? There must have been someone on the track. So. What is that honking about? I don't know. There must be something going on on the tracks up there. Be ready to be, have, your, have your life interrupted, just like that happened. Be ready to, to when things will happen that we will be out of step with what you're expecting, with what you're trying to achieve. This is going to be the norm. The norm. The norm. Life is, life is, uh, is, this, is this episode where you're, you are living towards a certain, a certain goal, and there are things that happen that divert you away from those goals. And you're going to have tragedies. You're going to have really gut-wrenching things. You may even die. You may have, you know, you, you've already, at your young age, 
you've already experienced in a very close situation like that with that health problem that you had. So you know what that's like. That's the norm in life. Be ready for that. That's another thing about becoming an adventurer. Learning how to uh, assess and, and then determine how much risk you're willing to take. Uh, not just, it's adventurers, it's not, adventurers are not the type, there goes another bullet train. Adventurers are not all about, adventurers are not all about, uh, you know, just, just, just living on the edge uh, for its own sake. They're about, uh, good adventurers are about um, knowing what the risks are and be willing to know how much you're willing to, to take in, 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 in striving after what you're going to go after. When I, used to, when I used to dive in the ocean by myself, which I don't recommend anybody to do, but I did, you know, scuba diving and snorkeling, which you're not supposed to do, I knew that I had genuine risks involved. Sharks, the dangers of, uh, of, of, of drowning underwater, having no one to help me and being alone. But it was, those were risks that I knew about and I was willing to take given for the, what I was after. I was also single then. I didn't, uh, uh, I was married, but I didn't have any kids, kids to, to responsible for. So it was a risk that I was willing to accept. Probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. Now when I go out in the mountains, I know there's bears out there, boar out there, the giant Asian giant hornet. I can get lost and things like that. People call it right to me and tell me I'm a fool. And I probably am a little bit more now, especially since I'm a husband and a father. But, but I really, I moderate that. It kind of looks on my videos. It looks like I'm out in greater wilderness, but when I'm really not as far out as people might think. So it's kind of moderated. So there you go. There you go. If you, um, let me round it off then. If you, if you want to be an adventurer, learn to, learn to, if, if, you, if you're inspired by the type of videos that I make, by the experiences I have, learn the, thought, learn the way of the philosopher. Learn the way of the scientist. Learn how to moderate risk. Learn how to assess the world around you. And then step boldly, step boldly, there's where the path of wildness comes in. Once you've done all that, step boldly in the direction that you want to go. And if you have trouble ascertaining exactly which way to step, go in the direction of your first inclination and then be ready to make course corrections and changes along the way as you move along. That is basically the recipe that I would, uh, I would, that's a, <laughs> that's my recipe for life. <laughs> to, to, to put it, that's it, for whatever it's worth, for whatever it's worth. It hasn't served me well for money. Uh, it hasn't served me well for, for, uh, for, for fortune or, or fame or, uh, or, or luxuries or anything like that, but it has given me uh, almost five decades of very interesting, fun, exciting, uh, uh, thought-provoking living, uh, filled with uh, challenges, or, or lots of ordinary days, lots of boring days, lots of things that I've done that didn't seem, that, in, that did, that didn't seem worthwhile at the time, necessarily at the time, or even even thereafter. But in decades later, it came about to be very viable things. So, just I think that's what I have to say. Good luck to you, my friend, and I hope that you'll let me know. So I, you you know about the path of wildness, and I'll, uh, I've I've and I've already got references to Thoreau and uh, the scientist stuff. So I'll put I'll include a link in the. In description and information, and I'll send you a link to my Path of Wildness uh, 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 blog and website. And if you have any questions, let me know anytime, softypapa at gmail.com. And that goes for anybody who sees this video that is curious about uh, that type of lifestyle and may have questions along the way. As long as I'm uh, breathing in and breathing out and uh, able to check email, I'll uh, be happy to, uh, to, to listen to whatever, any questions people have and do my best to try and give an honest effectual answer hopefully take care friend good luck to you I, I, I'm, I'm so happy for the life that you have before you great good luck bye bye look forward to talking to you